it's important to perform a stock take regularly to account for any product variances. To perform a stock take, go to the stock menu, select on stock. Here you'll see a list of our previous stock takes. If there are any active stock takes which contain the products you're wanting to count in your new stock take, you won't be able to add them in until the active stock take has been either completed or deleted. So you can see here, my stock takes have all been completed. So I'm gonna go through and press new and create my new stock take. The first thing I'm gonna do is create my description. Then I'm gonna assign it to who's responsible, then press next. I'm now gonna add in my products that I'm going to count by pressing the add button. If I was counting everything under the product company, I could click on the product company and then press add and that will add everything. If you're not counting everything under the company, you can press the plus sign and then it will just divide it all up into the product lines. Now you can go through and add product lines like that and that will just add the three product lines in. If you're wanting to just go through and add a few items, you can open up to that plus sign and just select the actual items itself. But for my example today, I'm just gonna count the brow kits. I'm then gonna press add and then press done. From here, I'm then gonna press start, press yes to activate the stock take. And now we've come to our printing options. So if you'd like to tick the box down the bottom here, this will then add the current levels to your stock take forms. Now your stock take form will look like this and it will have a, a column where you can write your actual count as you're counting the products. The next form is your unlisted stock form. Now this form is a useful document to list any products that you find during a stock take that aren't already in your shortcut system. And then this will just allow you to then add these products in. The next form is the stock take ma maintenance form. So this will be really useful to list any products that are no longer usable. And an example of that could be a product that has expired. Once you have selected the forms that you're going to count, uh, print, you can then print them by pressing done. Now I can go through and add in my levels that I've counted under the count column. Now, if you do have a variance, you will um, have the option of creating short uh, stock reasons. And once you add your stock reasons in, they will then drop down to the reason uh, column. And then you can select one of the reasons. So this one was missing and so was this one here. So I'm just gonna select those two reasons and then that will document on the report. Once you've completed that, you can press finish and you can press yes to complete that part of the stock take. And then to continue, it's just asking, do you need to perform a recount? Press yes, or press no to update the current levels. And now that stock take has now been complete.